Hello, BookTube. I wanted to give you your weekly quick reminder about the other YouTube channel where I appear. <laughs> the Cedarburg Public Library in Cedarburg, Wisconsin, uh, does a weekly show, Books of the Week. Uh, my producer runs it, and I am the, uh, the guest critic. <laughs> and we talk about books for half an hour every week. I mean, the video goes up on Friday or the weekend. Uh, whenever whenever it's possible to do and we the show has three segments we re, we talk about a new work of nonfiction a new work of fiction and then the final segment used to be a wild card of my choosing some book that was relatively recent something that you could see in the library that isn't really easily categorizable or maybe off the beaten path but we we tried a, a gimmick where my producer picked some new arrivals to the library that I didn't know about and just hurled them at me in a wild card segment. And uh, people really like that. He's getting a lot of messages. I'm getting a lot of messages. So now I think the final section of the show will be wild cards. Uh, so we did, we did that this week that the new episode is up where we talk about uh, Isabel Stewart Gardner and J.R.R. Tolkien and a whole bunch of wild cards at the end of the show. It was lots and lots and lots of fun. It'll put a smile on your face. It's, it's enjoyable youtube book related watching definitely i don't know why i don't know how it is but it manages to be very enjoyable so i thought i would give you just a quick reminder uh, and i'll leave a link to the latest episode uh so that you can go and see i we, we I, the reason why i do this is not only because i don't want you to forget but also for all of the explicit youtube regions that i don't do on my own channel on this channel i don't ever do calls to action never i would never dream of it I, but f that's because I don't want any of the goals that calls to action get you. <laughs> Whereas with with uh, Books of the Week, I do want all of those goals. I want the channel to grow. I want it to get to the point where it can have a Patreon or get monetized or both. Because the, that money, none of that money is going to go to my producer or to me. But it's going to go to the friends of the public library. The friends of the, of the Cedarburg Public Library. The, in, the invaluable civic organization that every library should have, or do, most of them do have them that handles so much outreach that the library doesn't do that your friends really deserve a round of applause from you. Uh, and also if you're a heavy library user in your neighborhood, you got to think about trying to join the friends and seeing if you can help out. Uh, usually they'll welcome that with open arms, but it, if we can get books of the week to the point where we are generating money for the friends of the Cedarburg Public Library, I think we will be largely immune to the the shifting winds of cancellation. I don't think we'll be cancelable if we can do that. Uh, so, we, And you're, you're the whole key to doing that. It doesn't matter how much my producer and I talk. We could talk about sausage and cheese until the cows come home. But it's it's traffic to the site that our numbers are really good our, if our subscription could get above a thousand if we could get the requisite watch time whatever it is on youtube i'm sure my producer knows so that we could monetize the channel maybe set up a patreon that would be wonderful but so that's why i'm 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 uh, this is part of the reason why i'm making these reminder videos but also just to tell you that this is fun this is fun stuff that's book related that you might be missing so i'll leave a link to the latest episode down below as a hoot and uh, we'll be back, of course, next weekend. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Thank you, book two.